pre-recorded live of edition because I've got a special friend here a special rail rider da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. hey look who it is it's mr. Vic look at that hey we in the That's how it happens you know I was just like out in the train yard as I want to do sometimes <laughs> look and it's my buddy Vic hey how you doing buddy I'm okay it's well into the afternoon and I'm still not awake yet, but, but <laughs> yeah. that's how it goes. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's how it is when you're a nocturnal animal. I appreciate yes. you being out at a decisively not rock o'clock time. <laughs> I know. Everything is rock o'clock. You know, we're living in the upside down now. We can get up and play music at noon. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, and we're better to do it than lean on, lean on an old train. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. 
feel like you're like a, you're kind of like a modern day hobo of sorts, troubadour. Yeah, I'm not much. You know, I was never much of a train hopper, though I did take the train for free a lot. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I definitely snuck on a lot of trains. Ones that look like this silver one back here. I was I was less of a train hopper in the sense that I would hop on like an empty uh, freight car, oh. and it's more like I would just go hide in the bathroom, <laughs> you know. And they'd be knocking on the door, boom, 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 and I'd be like, ah, you know, and they'd be like, ah, leave him alone in there. And then I'd try to like run out <laughs> quickly, you know. But as long as you got your method down, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm a method actor. Needless to say. Uh. Why don't we do a tune for the people? Yeah, let's um, do a tune. Um, we've been waiting? Been waiting? Or should we finish with that one? No. Yeah, maybe. That was pretty good. Uh, what songs are we doing? Uh, uh, we got, uh, let's do You Must Be Good. Yeah. Like that. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> you Must Be Good's in B flat, right? Is it? I think so. Yeah. Okay.
catch it over here. Tell me. Sometimes I ask Agent J, I say, Agent J, show me how to be good, you know, but... Oh, well, I mean, I got a little more to say than Agent J. Yeah? On any given day. And, uh, I can... I can, I can help you with how to be good. Yeah? Yeah. It just starts with those, like, edicts, like, I'm your mother and your father that the days may be long. phrase because you know do unto others as you'd have them do to you yeah. you know some people I swear they want you to put them in a headlock you know <laughs> and, and it's like I don't want you to put me in a headlock like I don't care how much you enjoy this headlock thing you know and smashing our heads into walls together <laughs> it's not what I want to do that, that that's my decision oh man it's, that's, it's yeah. funny how sometimes 
sometimes it's about it's not always about what you want it's what the other person needs you know I've noticed this sometimes in situations where you're like I think I'm doing good I think I'm doing the right thing yeah but somebody just needs that extra something emotion or drama or whatever and yeah. you're like I don't, I don't really want to do this but you know sometimes it's not always about servicing self it's about servicing the group or the other the other people that you care about and so it's like a, a weird detail though yeah. when I was a kid Everybody seemed to want to fight all the time. And then, I, then things kind of cooled out for a while. And it was like, ah, look, peaceful world. Everybody basically, everybody basically wants to just be left alone and do their thing. And then now, everybody seems to want to fight again. And I don't mean street fight, but everybody's got this like ornery yeah. thing. I feel like I'm back in Catholic school. <laughs> Unsettling times. Yeah. It's hard to find peace, and uh, that's going to bubble out into the way that you interact with other people. It is. You know, one of the things that used to piss me off the most about listening to the radio is we would listen to this to this oldie station, and they would always say, "Good times, great oldies." <laughs> and I'd be like, "Well, good times. Yeah, I'm driving along. Good times, great oldies. No doubt about it." But I always felt like they were hearkening back to good times. Like they were saying, come on, people, let's go back to the good times of the 50s. Right. You know, it wasn't and so good then. It wasn't so good. It's like, yeah, let's go back to the good the good old days when, you know, blacks couldn't sit on the front of the bus and right. women couldn't work. <laughs> wow. Being gay was a crime. <laughs> let's go back to those days. Gay bars, you know, sorry. Right. Ambulance solo! Ambulance solo! But I will say what I will say about the fifties. Yeah. They could pen some good tunes. They definitely had some good tunes. And uh, maybe we should do a fifties song to celebrate the good parts of the fifties. Yeah, this one this one is a song about being nervous because you know, you got caught doing something like, you know, equivalent to going to a gay bar. <laughs> well maybe not quite equivalent. Definitely. Certainly like uh, same amount of frowning upon. There was some frowning. <laughs> anyway, but well, let's see. The Everly Brothers were an odd bunch, no doubt about it. I don't know that much about them. Yeah. Were they even brothers? Or was that a Martin Oh, yeah, yeah, they're real brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. They look the same. They look quite oh, yeah. a lot. A yeah, lot they kind of do. I mean, all white people do, but I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, that needs to be said more often. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What key you got? In D, right? D, yeah. Okay, we got this. All right, cool. Uh, uh, I, I think I got the words, I think. I think, I, yeah. Whatever, the magic is going to take us, Vic. I'm not worried. I'm ready for the magic. <laughs> one, two, a one, two, a one.
la Wake up a little Susie 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 Yeah! There it goes. That could, that's cause for celebration, I think. I would say so. I think it's cause... I think we should have a toast. <laughs> to I'd say it's time to toast. Outwitting technology. When you're scumbagging it in the parking lot at the railroad museum. That's right. There's nothing wrong with the railroad museum. Oh, well, it should be. So here's a little, this is a little... Well, tell me about this, Vic. Uh, you were telling me about this whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a delicious little bit of whiskey from... Uh, I don't know. I think it's in the highlands of Scotland. Ooh, my people. But let me tell you, this is some this is some good shit over here. Oh. I think it's called Glen Gassau. Mm. Well, hi, Glen Gassau. It's definitely got some smoke to it. It's well, good, yeah. right about now, yeah. I want you to raise your bottles, cups, glasses, and cans. Let's have a good old-fashioned hatchet compound social or That's right. to life. To life. Well, hi, and and the look in the eye. To friend, to oh, ah, la I am, la I am, la I am to life. life. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Fiddler on the roof. Right? The friends I don't get to see very often. Yes. Mmm. Isn't that tasty? Ooh. That is delicious. The smokiness kind of coats mm. your throat so you don't get that burn at the end. That's really nice. Mm. That is delicious. Oof. Oh my god, it's like going to a barbecue. <laughs> Let I'm... me tell you, man. Yeah. Live it. You gotta live a little bit you can, see? Yeah, yeah seriously. How you been living? How you been getting your living in these days, Vic? <coughs> these How pandemic have I been days. Living? Well. Because we know that you normally are like just so nomadic, and I yeah. know you haven't been able to gig or you know travel as well, freely. I found out that I had a lot of a lot of need for sleep. I slept like the first two weeks and then I stayed put in New York. It was the strangest thing that's ever happened. Yeah. Yeah. So then I, I, I've done a lot of stuff and I did a lot of thinking and I did uh, not as much reading as I thought I would do, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Me neither. Yeah. But I, I talked to a lot of people. I found out a lot of people in my family and my friends, they want to talk on the phone for three hours at a clip. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. They I, just... I didn't know. I had to, I had to like, kind of uh, cut back on long conversations with friends. You give them a few, like, oh, this is good. Yeah. And then it keeps going and you're like, no, this can't be a thing. This yeah. can't. I, I just, I get, it makes me tired. And just... It takes a lot of time, especially when, you know, when you have a lot of creative things to do. You gotta, you gotta take your time. You gotta give it to the, you gotta give it to the creation. To write songs and sing songs and practice and yeah. recordings. Yeah. I put out a bunch of music actually. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Yeah. You can check on Bandcamp. Go look on Bandcamp on the the real Vic Ruggiero. There's a fake Vic Ruggiero out there. There was. There was some other Vic Ruggieros. What? That, you know, if they was like you'd look up Vic Ruggiero and all these records would pop up. Everybody wants to make money off me. <laughs> why can't you just make money off you? I know. So that's why the real Vic Ruggiero. You know? All right. Anyway. Cats and kitties. Help out my buddy Vic. I'm pretty okay, but... I did it like in honor of the real folk blues. You know those, oh, that yeah. series? Okay. And I was like, don't give it to the fake folk, blo folk blues. Give it to the real folk blues and the real Vic Ruggiero. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, now let's see it. All right. Kristen, this is, a, this is a song you played with the Slackers, among others, many others. Yeah, yeah. But this one was always a favorite, it feels like. It really was, yeah. yeah. I feel like, like, well, as I mentioned the last time when I, on my show when I was talking about my time with y'all, I feel like if I, I mean, I brought a lot of things, but the big thing that I could say that was like, no, this is mine, is I brought the third voice. You brought the third voice. I remember, like, at the end of the run, like, you were like, I feel like I've been spoiled. There's, like, I'm not going to have three-part harmonies anymore. I know. And not to mention, there was one person smiling in the band. It was just, it was too much sunshine. <laughs> you know? They were the va the vampires of the slackers. They, they, need, they need a kind of a grim, they need a kind of a grim Nosferatu kind of expression. 
and Kristen was just way too, I mean, look at that smile. It's just too much. Well, how can you deal with that? Yeah, but how can I not smile when I'm like surrounded by like five like intelligent, you know, like charming fellas? And I asked, I asked them all the time. I, 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 how come I'm not smiling? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this one is called I've Been Waiting for a New State of Mind. God knows that's the truth. Mm, I think yeah. the pandemic helped me a little bit. I did a lot of good personal work. Isn't that crazy how like the silver linings that have come out of this? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's very good. All right. Kick us in. Ready? All right. One, two. Ready about here? Yeah. I'm 
That's a kind of an American word. I've heard. Rumor. Sounds about right. I feel copacetic really explains my... It, I, I feel it embodies a certain ideal for you, copacetic. Yeah. All right. I hope the English use it. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Well, well, thanks, Kristen. Thank you. I'd hug Can you, I but say? I can't, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. We got a little, you know, I tried to point my aerosol mist away from you. <laughs> Even though we've been doing very good about, you know, I haven't really been around anybody but pretty much in quarantine. Yeah, me too. And in the in my van, which is pretty much, you know, yeah. I invite you someday, <laughs> whoever. Someday you'll do your own live stream from your van. Oh yeah. It'll be an adventure. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Slice Batch It. Thanks. Slice. Yeah. You know, just a, just a piece. It's like, yeah. You know. <laughs> um, have a great Sunday, everybody, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye.